Stop me if you've heard this one, but there's another update to the update out now, everyone. Hot fix number three is the topic of the day, and now I think we're getting down to the nitty gritty from here on out. Now we can expect actual gameplay changes over bug fixes. Tweaks like giving Don't Starve Together's newest Big Bad a brand new home. Yes, indeed, folks. The Nightmare Werepig is a cave boss following this release. He is now found solely in the muddy wilds, mostly in the light bulb area, it appears but he's still mostly the same everywhere else. Now I like the change, however this is quite possibly the worst biome that they could have chose to put this guy in. Yes, there's space to fight him, but wide open ruins have those areas too. So chain him up in his own branch, window dress his set piece, return his ruins colors for Pete's sake, make him glow in the darkness for effect, and he will easily become the coolest boss in this game and no one's going to complain. And yes, they did change the colors of, well, everything for whatever reason. So if we didn't already have the ability to label this stuff a shipwrecked ripoff, there is no doubt in it now. No changes otherwise mine. To continue then, this hotfix also clarifies what inspiration even means by totally replacing it with insight instead. So don't you worry, Wigfrid, you are back to being the only inspired ones in the constants. But let's springboard off of all that to talk to skill tree tweaks, yes? Wilson's Shadow Courtier perk got a sneaky buff that unfortunately is not working for some at the moment for whatever reason, however I can tell you what it's supposed to do at the end of the day, as on top of its shadow transmutations, the skill will also now grant Wilson a 10% damage increase against lunar based mobs, and yes, that includes bosses, plus a 10% damage reduction against nightmares of all shapes and sizes. So yup, while I'm not a huge fan of this, they are definitely trying to tell us that Wilson's a huge part of Charlie's plans from here on out. So make notes. The torch skill tree is another thing that I question highly as I find it to be a total waste of space, but it too just got updated. So let us talk about how long torches are gonna last now, yes. As bloody heck, it's a long freaking time. At the left there is a normal torch in the hands of any normal survivor, while at the right panel shows an upgraded Wilson wielding an upgraded torch, and I think that's all you need to know. The skill tree is still dumb though. The alchemy tree on the other hand continues to shine and after today it is easily the best of the bunch and quite possibly what the Wilson rework should really center on. But I digress, three new transmutations were added from Wilson being able to craft purple gems without any machine of any sort mind, to marble becoming moonstone on the relatively cheap, and now, finally, bone shards now being able to be refined into hound teeth which I think is actually pretty darn useful. It's not bad, but when we also note that a few of these have also been made cheaper than ever overall, it feels like we are actually getting somewhere. And there you have everyone, hotfix number three for the Wilson refresh updates. Now you probably noticed through all, all this that I am now starting to really not hold back. So I'll be 110% honest here. While I do not mind the changes being done to help tighten this rework up, I am questioning if we're actually tightening the right things. I do not like this rework. Like, at all and I personally believe that this entire thing might need to return to the drawing board. Either commit to him not being the quote unquote default character anymore after 10 years of basic gameplay, or you're gonna risk what I think we're starting to see here, which is a survivor just feeling all over the place for no other reason apart from just attempting to appease too many parties. Why is Wilson the only one who can shadow transmutate? Why is Wilson the only one getting anything from Charlie? Why is Wilson the only one with the skill tree why is the wilson only this why is wilson only that i think you get what i'm getting at he's a scientist clay a gentleman scientist who sat the throne for a little bit work with that we don't need torch trees for pete's sake hell at this point i can make an argument for not needing the skill tree at all just give him a bunch of science perks, keep the transmutations if you want, as he is a failed scientist, transmutating makes sense. Maybe, maybe, maybe give him a connection to nightmares here and there, and you're done. I think we'd all go on our merry way after that. But whatever, it's not my game. So thanks for watching, folks. Well wishes to all, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.